do some, any conflicts before we go to close, yeah. Councillor Edwards. So, um, so with all the functions, um, just wondering how to do this. Uh, so I've got, I've just got a conflict, um, a conflict in arts and culture. Which, which, um, uh, which agenda is item, Councillor uh, Edwards? Function uh, four point. No, no, agenda item. C C sorry, C, yeah, C two, but. But we've got all these items in C2. Mm -hmm. So um, the only one I've got a conflict with is uh, arts, and, arts and culture. So I'll just run through it. Um, okay, so this... Uh, sorry, Kel, have you got that there? Yeah. Okay, so uh, I have conflict of interest in item C2. The description is function reports, financial planning, revenue collection, accounting, procurement, financial reporting. Arts and Culture, Sport and Recreation, Libraries, Human Resources and Leadership, um, Communication and Consultation. I don't think tourism's in there. Yeah, we've just added it. Oh, just added it. Oh, okay. Um, right here then. Uh, declaring councillors, uh, Mark Edwards, Councillor Mark Edwards, related party, close associate, other relationship as myself, in regards to arts and culture and tourism, uh, the tourism now to uh, there, uh, Kel. Yes. Um, particulars of the interest is I sell oranges at the Calico Cottage, and the Calico Cottage is mentioned um, in item 4.1, and also where's tourism 4.3, I think. Uh, 4.3, 4.3, 4.10, sorry, uh, Kel, that's not 4.1, 4.10, 4.10. Um, and also in item 4.3, uh, sorry, function 4.3, um, also mentions Calico Cottage there as well in uh, item 4.3. Yep. We might use the word currently, those numbers, um, uh, because current, we've deleted okay. one yep. of the early ones. In current, uh, currently in items. So I use the well, in current items, 4.1, 4.1. Yeah. Yeah. And that's about it. Currently in, okay. Four point one zero. So I'll just mention that again. I sell oranges at the Calico Cottage, yeah, so and the Calico Cottage is mentioned currently in items four point three and four point one zero. Type of conflict will be a declarable you conflict I mean? of interest. I'm sure I wouldn't. What have we got? And I'll leave the room while the matter is discussed and voted on. Okay. Anyone else got any conflicts they wish to declare? Councillor Hancock? Not sure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so just in light of um, previous recent meetings, C1 is um, Ramasawiya's charity sale day. I'm just wondering if we are in a similar All of us. predicament that we were last, last didn't, meeting. Didn't see that. There's no... Uh, no. No financial gain or loss, loss to us for this, that? no. Being a charity, then? Beneficiary is the role of one of the council Council revenue that would be affected. But not yours. Not yours. Not ours. Not well, council's. anyone sell, buying or selling, or, or selling cattle would still pay full fees, you know, whatever the current fees are, but obviously half of that money goes... Yeah. Flying doctor, so it'd be a long shot there with uh, the you know, very long shot about yeah. you know, raising the profile of the sale yards and selling your cattle through it and all that sort of stuff. But I think that'd be a I guess not like we're uh, changing no, fees or anything like that. Very no. long shot. Right. Anyone else got any questions? <coughs> well, 
Okay. Can I have a move it to go into close, please? Councillor O'Neill. I'll move that in accordance with the provisions of section 254J3 of the Local Government Regulation 2012, the Council resolve to close the meeting to the public to discuss confidential items that its councils consider is necessary to close the meeting. In accordance with section 254J5 of the Local Government Regulation 2012, the following table provides the matters to be discussed and an overview of what is to be discussed while the meeting is closed. Gender items, please. Do you want me to read out the agenda? C1 Roma Sayage Charity Day, Charity Sale Day, and C2 Functions Report Financial Planning, Revenue Collection, Accounting, Procurement, Financial Reporting, Arts <coughs> and Culture, Arts and Culture, Sport and Recreation, Libraries, Human Resources and Leadership. Communication and consultation. Do we have a second, or please? Tourism. Oh, in tourism, sorry. Uh, do we have a Councillor Edwards? Any opposition? All those in favour? Mr. Mayor? You're gone. Yeah. You're, okay, one, two, three. That's eight zero. Okay. Could. Any conflicts of interest, please? Yes, I'm sorry. Councillor Taylor. I'll just wait for the wording. Um, it was, I'd like to declare a conflict of interest in C1. Uh, Roma Sale Yards Fees, but no, no, that's not what it is. It's Roma Sale Yards Charity Sale Day. Um, the declaring uh, councillor is Wendy Taylor. Uh, the company is Layership Proprietary Limited, which is Peter and Wendy Taylor, directors of that company. The company is registered to buy and sell cattle at the Roma Sale Yards, which could be a possibility on this day. Um, so I'll declare a conflict of interest and leave the room while the matter is discussed and voted on. So, no more, no one. Okay, so I move we go into closed. Councillor O'Neill, a seconder for that, please. Councillor Edwards, any opposition? All those in favour? Eight zero. Uh, uh, do we have any more conflicts of interest? Oh, yes, I do, Chair. The item is C2, uh, relating to human resources and leadership. <clears throat> uh, the particulars of the interest are that I am a non-executive director. Of Golden West. Apprenticeships, which are mentioned in uh, item 5.4. A type of conflict is a declarable conflict of interest, and I will leave the room while the matter is being discussed and, uh, and voted on. No one else while we... Okay. So I can't promise that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, um... I move that we go back into close. Councillor Hancock's moving. We're going back into close. As per... The, as, per the, as per what was read out previously. Second, please. Councillor Ladbrook, any opposition? All those in favour? Eight zero.
Item number C1, Roma Sale Yards Charity Sale Day. Do I have a mover, please? Councillor? Leave the room. Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Councillor Taylor's left the room. Uh, Councillor O'Neill? I'll move the council approve 50% of the live weight and open auction selling fees received for each head of cattle sold at the Roma Sale Yards store sale on Tuesday the 6th of July 2021 will be donated by Maranau Regional Council to the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Every second, a councillor Ladbrook. Any opposition? Anyone wish to speak for or against the motion? I'll put it to the vote. All those in favour? 8-0. Get Wendy. Please. Okay, uh, item C2, function reports, financial planning, revenue collection, accounting, procurement, financial reporting, sport and recreation, libraries, communi communications and consultation. Do I have a mover, please? We're going to split some of them out. Um, oh, that's what I forgot. Um, sorry. Um, Kills... No, that is the split-out version. That is. Councillor O'Neill. I'll move the Council 1 receive and note the functional reports for financial planning, revenue collection, accounting, procurement, financial reporting, sport and recreation, libraries, communication and consultation as presented. Two, approve the listed functional reports proceeding to the next step of inclusion in the draft statutory documents. Have a seconder, please. Councillor Edwards. Any opposition to the motion? Anyone wish to speak for or against the motion? All those in favour? Yes, uh, 9-0. Uh, still call it C2, I suppose. C2. Function reports. Oh, sorry. Function reports, uh, Councillor Edwards have left the room. Function reports, arts and culture and tourism. Do I have a mover, please? Councillor Hancock. I move that Council 1 receive and note the functions report for arts and culture and tourism as presented. To approve the listed function reports proceeding to the next step of inclusion in the stat a draft statutory documents. Seconder, please. Councillor Taylor. Any opposition to the motion? Anyone wish to speak for or against? All those in favour? 8-0. Um, Can we get Councillor um, oh, yes, Edwards back, please? Okay, George. I'll oh, so I'm leaving on a conflict. Yeah, yeah. C2, Councillor O'Neill's left the room with a conflict of interest on... The <laughs> Subject heading, Function Reports, Human Resources and Leadership. Do I have a mover, please? Councillor Guthrie? I move that Council receive and note the Function Reports for Human Resources and Leadership as presented and approve it proceeding to the next step of inclusion in the draft statutory documents. Seconder, please. Councillor Edwards. Any opposition to the motion? Anyone wish to speak for or against the motion? All those in favour? Eight, yes. eight zero. Councillor uh, O'Neill back, please. See how we want to book a meeting temporarily tomorrow? Wait until you hear from us. We hear from you, I should say. Yeah, yeah. Just well, wait. The, the tentatively yeah. for... Um... Okay, can I suggest we... Move a resolution for a tentative booking for two from special meeting tomorrow at two pm. Is that enough time with the three thirty one? Between two. Could we go say two two thirty? I think. Wait, the audit committee.
You, what? Is that enough time? We're just trying to stretch it as much as possible. So about 2.30, would that be? Just one 2.30 and give you an hour for between the... Yeah. That's fine. Everyone happy with 2.30 tomorrow? Yes. Is that enough time? Is that... One hour between meetings. Well, t tomorrow should be straightforward because we've gone through okay. all of that every time. <laughs> 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 More straightforward. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Just make Everyone sure is. because you've got others that have got to go to another it's meeting. Three thirty. So everyone's happy with two thirty tomorrow. It's an hour. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Everyone's yeah. happy. Okay. Two thirty. It is. Any other business or any other? Anyone want to raise anything before I close the meeting? I go close the meeting at one oh eight. Does that sound right? One oh eight p.m. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the attendance. Thank you.